That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. Oh, right. We you only not make no clean getaway. Splish Splash. No, don't fuck Did it. Somebody actually clean just getaway. say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. This dumb bitch gonna agree to it. No. You just stole money. They see you in the pool. They're like, well, how you get in the pool? Oh, we just got the key. Who you think they gonna play? Hmm. No, let me use my rewind. Fuck her. A bad influence. Look at her. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Now, if we go in here, you drown, bro. I'm not rewinding Boys to save you. Boys or girls? Come on, now. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. I ain't trying to see no dang Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Let's spin a block room because he was. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your. No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Bro, y'all some sick motherfuckers. A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. Let me push her in. Let me push her in. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. It's this like the pool, old dude drown drown old dude that on, on power. <laughs> on God. There has to be a control panel for the lights around Let me here. We find out they go to the science school. I did not offer to say. Big? Oh, that's old girl? Black back ass. Time to do or dive, Max. I gotta put my phone and stuff down for how I go trade. How I, how I take my clothes off? I can't take my clothes off? Oh, this is the boys' locker room. I go change though. Sex me up. <laughs> the graffiti on the wall is crazy. Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. 
Ooh. Girls going wild. Cowabunga. Two petite freaks. <laughs> Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. Ah! I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> are they standing or are they swimming? <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. How y'all doing we, it? With How y'all just floating? I'm starting to think everything is related, and I want to find out why for Casey. <laughs> That's how you know they ass flat. She didn't deserve to <laughs> That'd be die. a perfect surfboard. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Ain't no what else she appreciates. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? I don't, I'm gonna say, I don't know, because I, I could have I could have well, I knew I could rewind okay. before I met her. So just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice. Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. Ooh, that boy Warren. Well, let me tell that boy Warren, boy. Rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. Mm. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Cause you ain't grab no towel, stupid. I ain't got no change of underwear Gross. then. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. Soggy You're and cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi. Hi. Slow it. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Let go. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Bitch, I'm trying to figure out how to lead him. Are you shitting me? Mm. Mm. How you spit the block like that, though? Oh, shit. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? <laughs> Let me get in. Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. 
I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Yeet. Hey. What? I ain't bought the corner fast enough? Shit! I need to rewind and do something fast. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Oh my god, put some pep in your still, bitch! Now so I'm gonna punch the bitch! People. I'm gonna punch the bitch through my monitor! <laughs> I'm tired of that bitch. She always getting us in some shit. Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! Oh, this is bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive! Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Y'all hoes ain't got no movement, boy. Get in. And why be how dumb ass turning bitch on said put that be in neutral, let that be roll. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> you could yes, put that be in neutral, so cool right. down, and took out. Like, like her stepdad don't know her damn truck. We finna walk in to be, he gonna come home. He gonna beat her again. He gonna slap the shit out of her this time. Yo, that hoe don't be thinking, bro. She don't be thinking at all. And they got my character falling behind her. Behind her. Looking stupid as hell. I'm gonna wake up the sun right in your face. All women sleep the same. <laughs> T-shirt and boy shorts, no cap. Take a selfie. Always remember this moment. The hoes gonna Photo love hog. this. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. Mm. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up, right? Y'all ain't taking out one shower soon. yet. Oh, does this? I know y'all staying. Y'all hopped in the pool with chlorine and motion. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Okay, I need to get dressed now. West Side 
Supplies are endless in the evening. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Hey, where my clothes at? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Not stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, Oh, so she is a little... Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> Maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Alright, oh, that's cool and all. Okay, there you go. Shit. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Yeah, because you didn't wash no clothes, dirty bitch. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. What a blunt it. I was such a wuss so to cower in the closet while David hit her. Morning, such. Now nah, I went to the closet first. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. Can I dress her? You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Mm. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh, let's turn into a porno. Let's go! Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Freak ass game! Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Go on that bed, girl. Come here. Go talk to me real quick. You better not rewind and take that kiss back. No, I'm trying you know to I'm take it a little further than that. Articles, right? You ever seen two scissors? <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop, bro. Let me stop. PG 13. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not Big to fail. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. I got condoms. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when. All right now, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. 
Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a Hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. She ate you. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey? Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. What y'all got, chicken? I gotta go I outside can handle and eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but, oh, bacon. Let me find out if I got an actual, actual chicken coop. Cause I don't see no egg in that refrigerator. Y'all back there all look like nothing. So I doubt they back there. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Dead birds in their yard. And it sound like you're in a thunderstorm. What the hell? What the eggs? Oh, jeez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? Where the bird went? Maybe it was in her head. Where do you see a bird at? What? <sighs> Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Now, bro, you see that window wide open, bird. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me if- Skip that. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Ain't no eggs! Eggs and milk? No problem. Now for the mother's milk. For all my life, these eggs was not up here. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. 
After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Mm. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth, if only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens and a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Gotta go come downstairs, hi, fuck it. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Mm. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Uh, uh, stupid ass. Why are you lying? Shut up. Now that's what I call pancakes. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't do that. I'm not doing that. Now that's what I call pancakes. Now that's what I call pancakes. Bro, what y'all want me to do, bro? I don't care for nothing on this table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... Mm. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And 
This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Damn, bitch, who you want Just me to be? listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Damn, this bitch want me to protect her from everybody, bitch. Fight your own battle. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Did I not do this before? Back to the TV light. Nothing in it. It's a whole TV? The fuck you mean nothing in it? You ain't gonna press play? Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I better not trying to make me type it in. She better remember by her damn self. I could try the license number for the password. Alright, I got two on, so she. No reason she shouldn't be able to figure out which one. <sighs> Try again. Such wrong. Mm. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Mm -hmm. We ain't free shit. I'm gonna tell you why we're gonna do it before we put any one of them holes in. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. It ain't gonna be stepdad, shorty. I can tell you that right now. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Mm, mm, mm. Beat them up. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now I'm 27 or 8. I got so many bad words. Nah, shit. Fuck, they quit playing! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Mm, he got <gasps> creepy bastard. He got the bitch class schedule. Yeah. I better tell Chloe about this now. Uh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad.
Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting Chloe, shit, be right? quiet! You're a total paranoid, David. Not... Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? If I'm gonna side with her, she gonna bitch, bro. I gotta side with her. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. <laughs> well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, mm. right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. <laughs> yeah. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Ain't very wine to change, no option. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Shut up, ho. Out of you. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Fucking head. But fuck you. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe. Is that not a dog in there? I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Hmm. 
Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. I didn't open that bit because I hear that nigga growling. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. Be cool but hanging us. out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. Oh. I better finish my breakfast first. I 
just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Now, why would you even do that? Why was that even an option? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> Did he just drop his keys? By the way, f <laughs> but, but, we'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. Rachel. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Mm, holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do this you? nigga be wild. Like, dude. why he so We're angry? Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now, fuck off, Dyke. Hey, you can't say that. That's insensitive. We'll chat later, Max. <coughs> you eat like a pig. Where's his keys? No reason to go now. Get a new outfit and leave me alone. Damn, 
I really...